Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually open a port in Google Cloud. So there's a few reasons why you may want to be opening a port. You may want to allow incoming traffic to a virtual machine instance and this might be necessary if you want to actually connect your virtual machine instance from a remote location or if you wanted to allow other users or applications to access it. You may want to enable a specific service. So some services such as web servers and databases require specific ports to be open in order to actually function properly. You may want to test a security configuration and you may need to open ports temporarily in order to see how it affects traffic. And you also may need to debug a problem. So you might just want to open a port in order to troubleshoot an issue. It is important to know that opening ports can make a virtual machine instance more vulnerable to attack. Therefore, it's important to only open ports that are necessary and to use strong security measures to actually protect your VM instance. So the, the way to actually, uh, so the way to actually open our port would first be on the dashboard like I am here. And then we want to go to the left hand side and look for computer engines, which you can find here under resources. So click on that. And when this loads here, we should be able to see our instances. Uh, I might have to refresh if it's not loading in. And here we go. We can see uh, one of my instances here. So what you want to do is go to the one that you want to open a port on and on the right hand side you'll see these three dots here. You want to click on this and then go down to view network details which we can find here. And then when we click on that we, we have some new options on the left hand side and we want to go to firewall. And here's where we can actually add in a port. So, so what we want to do from here is go to the top and choose create firewall rule which is here. And here's where we can actually make it. So I'm just going to call this. So I'm just going to call my port 909 VM. In the description, you want to give a bit of detail about it. Just give some context so that you know which port it actually is. Next up is logs. So you can turn on firewall logs to generate a large number of logs, which can increase the cost in logging. So if you don't know what that means, you can click learn here to learn a bit more about it. But just choose on or off for one of them. Choose which network you need. I'm just going to use default. And then next up, you want to actually put in the priority. So if we click on here, so as you can see, when we click on here, it says rules with a lower number get prioritized first. And the default is a thousand. So choose whichever one suits you best for that one. It will be, it will depend on uh, what you're using this for. Direction of traffic and action or match. Make sure you tick both of those, whichever you need. For target, I'm just going to go ahead and select all instances in the network. And then next up, we get to the IPv4. So in the source ranges, we want to do 0 0.0.0.0, .0, slash 0. Then after you've done that, we can come down to the protocols and ports here. So what I'm just going to do for this one is do TCP and I'm going to do 999. So obviously this may be different depending what you're actually doing. But I'm just going to do this one. And then when you are actually ready to create it and you filled in all the necessary details, we can select create down here. And in a second here, it should finish completing that and create it. And as you can see, it's being created right now. And if we just give this a couple minutes here, it should be created. And there we go. Successfully created firewall rule port 999 VM. So that is exactly how you can open a port in Google Cloud. I hope you managed to follow along and get your... So hopefully you managed to follow this tutorial along and open a port for yourself in Google Cloud. If you did, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out. And like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.